Okay, we're going to do 3.3, number six, and um, just for practice, and we're going to use quadratic formula on this. And um, the tricky part here, the very first thing that I would definitely tell you, like, hey, watch out for, is um, the fact that um, that this is not equal to zero. And you can't use the quadratic formula if it's not equal to zero. So the very first thing that I'm going to take care of is I'm going to write out my equation. So 2x squared plus 4x equals 7. And I'm the very first thing I'm going to do is I want to make that guy equal to zero. Because if he's, oh, sorry, you're catching up to me. Sorry. Hold on a second, Miss Donaldson. Okay. Still not showing up. Oops. There it goes. Okay. So the very first thing I want to take care of this is this equal to zero. It has to be equal to zero in order for me to use the quadratic formula. So I am going to subtract seven on both sides. So now it's going to equal to zero. So then I have two X squared plus four X minus seven equals to zero. Okay. So when I do this, 2x squared plus 4x minus 7 equals to 0. When I do this, now I can go in and choose what my a, my b, and my c are. Because notice how here, if you would have chosen your 7 as your c, now that it's negative 7, do you see how it's going to completely throw off your formula, right? So again, Ms. Johnson, she's going to sing to you, x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over to a. I know. I know you're all thinking, man, Ms. Johnson, why don't you get a singing contract? I know. No, just kidding. Okay. So enough of that. Enough of that, yo. Okay. So I'm going to plug in my numbers here. So I plug in and I put, let's see, let's put them in this color. So x is equal to negative. Uh-oh, what goes here? Very good. Four plus or minus the square root of, uh-oh, what goes here? Ah, oh no, I lost my page. There it is. Very good. A four goes in here again of b squared. So that's four squared minus four ac. So what's my a and what's my c? Yeah, this is two and this is negative seven. Now, if you notice here, right, if I would have put a seven here instead of a negative seven, that's going to completely throw off this back end here, right? Because a negative times a negative is a positive and it's going to matter. So your signs here, they matter. So don't think like, oh, negative, positive, who cares? If you say negative, positive, who cares? Then the $300 that I borrowed from you, that's negative positive oh who cares i don't have to pay you back and it's like oh it matters yes it matters and then the bottom is two times two very good and then you just simplify every single part that you can so i get negative four i'm going to go plus or minus the square root of and does anybody see anything here that they can simplify yeah very good um i got 16 right here and then negative four times two is eight times negative seven is plus 56. Right, because a negative times, a negative, or if you wanted to, you could do not minus negative 56, it doesn't matter. And all over four. So then here, I'm gonna simplify again. So negative four plus, oops, plus or minus the square root of 66, 72. I got 72 right there over four. So would you guys got, did you guys get 72 for that? 66, 72. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And then what do you do, Ms. Johnson? Um, I would want you to simplify this square root because he's a little bit too um, big. Like he needs to be simplified. So I'm going to simplify the square root of 72. And if you forgot how to simplify the square root of 72, you just multiply. So you say what times what gives me 72. So what times what gives me 72, y'all? 
Yeah, eight times nine. Very good. Oh, I'm not going to use the um, the decimal equivalent for it. So usually I would want exact answers, not um, approximates. So then, um, then break down nine. So that's three times three. And eight is two times four and then two times two. So again, you're looking for pairs of stuff. So this is a review from back in eighth grade. You're looking for pairs of stuff. Okay. So do you see any pairs? Do you see any pairs? Yes, you see pairs. No, you see, you don't see pairs. What do you see? Do you see some pairs? Very good. I see a threes. Very good. So I see these three. So they get to come outside. I see these twos. They get to come outside. And then I have this loner too. He has to stay inside. Okay. So I think about this as um, because it's square roots, you're looking for pairs of stuff, right? Three times itself, three times three or two times two. Because that I get to pull those out, then I simplify this by multiplying. So six times, uh, three times two is six. So then I'm going to replace this right here with this right here. You guys all see that? Uh oh, it's not catching up to me. I'm going to replace six root two with this square root of 72. And then I'll just leave my answer like that. You can actually simplify a little bit more for, but for our purposes, I'm just going to leave it just like this because this is fine for, for us. Because I'm just trying to see can you use the quadratic formula? Okay. So let's do this. And then how would you check your answer, Ms. Johnson? Uh, Ms. Johnson's favorite way is always going to be Desmos, right? So I'm going to plug in my equation right here. Um, so technically, you can plug it into this being one and this being the other, but I'm just going to plug this in right here. So I have uh, 2x squared um, plus 4x minus 7. Okay, so where are our answers here? Where does this answer show up? It shows up as our x-intercept because that's where it's equal to zero, right? That's what we said. Where is it equal to zero? It's equal to zero here. And then these numbers here, negative three, one, two, one, would be if you plugged this in to your calculator. So in case you don't believe me, let's just believe me. So it's um, parentheses negative four plus six square root of two, close parentheses, divided by, sorry, divided by four. And so it says it's one, two, one. Let's see if that's one, two, one, if it's close. And some of you are like, yeah, Ms. Johnson, it works. How would you check the other one? I just copy and paste like this. And then I'd put a minus right here, minus. And then that's negative three, one, two, one. So I'd plug that in and I'd see, oh, that looks good too. So there's always a way to, for you to check your answer. Your job is to check it, okay? Um, and someone said, hey, Ms. Johnson, could we have, can we have checked it using this equation? And the answer is, yeah, you would just put one inside one. So 2x squared plus 4x. And then I would put the y equals to 7 on the other side. So let me turn this guy off. And since technically this is a system and this is one equation and this is another, you're now looking at this and this. So notice you still get those same answers there, right? That makes sense. Very good. Good questions, guys. All right. That it's 